Hey guys, the next one we're going to talk about is the Biba model. Oftentimes in class we like to do mnemonic ways to remember this. One of the things that you need to think about with the Biba model is the Biba Las Vegas. Oftentimes uh, you check everything in at the door including your integrity when you go to Las Vegas. But the Biba model is focused on integrity of the data. Has it changed? Has it been modified? How can you tell? Is non-repudiation and, and tax still? Well, these are all things that the, the Biba model focuses on. So Biba Las Vegas, or uh, it's an integrity model. It's easy to remember that way uh, because any of the access controls that are focused with the Biba model oftentimes deal with two simple but important methods. And those are the simple integrity axiom that basically says that, hey, you can't read down. You can't read down. So if you have a subject, that subject can't read data at a lower integrity model. And then you have the star integrity axiom, which says that a subject cannot modify any object at a higher integrity level, which makes sense. You know, if, if you don't want people to change things, and they don't have access to it, then we say no right up. So when we're, t we're practicing the principles of least privilege and access control, when we talk about security engineering, it's super important for us to be able to make sure that we go through and take a look at this BIBO model because it really focuses on how integrity is kept intact. So keep that in mind whenever you're preparing for your exam.